Medical services can really make a difference in the lives of children with autism, but those services often come with a hefty price tag. So one local couple delivered a child-friendly robot that could make those services a lot more affordable. Dr. Malika Marshall takes a closer look. Eight-year-old Rafael Rocca has autism, but until recently, his family couldn't afford the services he needed. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. Children with autism need 40 plus hours a week, and who's going to pay for that? Oftentimes, no one does. So Lori Dickstein Fisher and her husband Greg Fisher put their heads together along with some basic household materials and gave birth to Pabby. Hello. <laughs> Hello. A lot of thought went into the design of the robot. A cartoonish look with big googly eyes so it wouldn't be too threatening. Simple colors so it wouldn't be too distracting. And by the way, who doesn't love a penguin? But Pabby is more than a penguin. It's a portable robot with cameras behind its eyes and a computer in its belly that pairs wirelessly with a tablet. It could make autism services much more accessible. The parent can run it, a teacher can run it, the nanny, the babysitter. And much more affordable. I really see the robot evening out the playing field. Per, perhaps if insurance is only giving you 10 hours a week, the robot can assist and supplement it. And improve a child's experience. When uh, the teacher was actually sitting with the child with the pabby and did not have to use a paper and pencil, they actually touched the child more. They were more engaged more. A pilot study here at the BB School in Melrose showed kids responded positively. This design is in a way that it's close to the point where it could be commercialized. Uh, so, you know, I would think within a couple of years we could actually get something like this deployed. And Welcome news to parents. Everything that they think about, there's a purpose. And everything that they did with the penguin is exactly what they need. Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News.